Good evening from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well. I'm just having a moment here today. I was laughing my tits off, right? But Uncle Yami shares the story of Marvin Herbert's uh, beloved brother, Barry Williams from Liverpool. I always got to give um, Barry Williams, as much as he pisses me off sometimes, but Uncle Yami still got to salute him sometimes. Because you know, sometimes, you know what I realised in this life that we all talked about a long time ago that don't underestimate addicts. Don't think they're any different from anybody else, us I mean, you know, in that way, because they got the bottle to go through on certain days where other men who don't take nothing don't, if you get what I mean. But we're not here today to tell this one, but I'm going to tell you this one up in a long heart and way back in the day, right? It was late and I was all alone, right? I was running around doing my stuff. Me and Barry Williams, Marvin's brother, were partners in crime. Most of the time when we bucked up or saw each other, if you get, because we're in the same game. But Uncle Yami always realized that he didn't have the same social skills as me. He was an out and out bad man. Facts, right? And many of my lot, they will testify, they said, Yami, no matter what, my man, Barry Williams, was a warlord, 100%, right? Imagine during this time, um, everybody's hiding their stuff, right? So I was still getting through and they were saying, Yami, listen, yeah, but listen, don't let Barry know because we're fed up with him, man, and his behaviour now. So Barry would like lean on, the, lead on the, um, the railings, come downstairs, come down and monitor things where he was looking for stuff in reality, right? I was clocking him and I was thinking, ah, Barry, they're not going to let you know because they're, they're sick of you coming with those little things. Yeah, give me one of them, kiss a toot and do, do all that kind of stuff, right? I was laughing, right? But I was looking at him. He says to me, Yami, so what's going on then? You let me go. You let me go, you know, you let me go. You're saying, Yami, all of a sudden you've gone boss out. I think you've scored and you're not letting me know. Well, I said to him, listen, Barry, you don't move right sometimes, right? He said, Yami, I don't need to move right, right? But I know what's happening now. They've got up there and blah, blah, blah. I never said nothing, right? But I had a feeling that I knew what was going to happen. Watch this one, right? He come back, I said to myself, nah, my man, the people that have got the gear that day, right? Um, one's from West London, who I love dearly. He's about six foot six, bigger than Barry as well. And another man from South London, right? They didn't like Barry, right? It's hard to take to Barry sometimes. But Barry's who he is. I've just said that to you, hello, but I'm laughing, right? But they were saying, yeah, everyone was saying, don't tell Barry. But you know, someone's going to tell him. Right, so I was thinking, what's he gonna do next? Because I can't relinquish, because there's nothing on the wing. So that means if I go, yeah, Barry, come, he's gonna think, oh, yummy, oh, you got it off them up there, they're hiding from me, because that's what, he's on the prowl, he's on the prowl, like I used to be, a predator, looking for it, and who's got it, yeah, bully boy taxes. But what's the difference, man? There was, everybody was a bully boy, no matter what in that life, we've gone through that already, right? Now watch this, in the evening, association came, so Barry, Barry says to me, ah, oh, okay, Yami. So I was looking at him, but you know me, I can't let him know because I've got my goose. It was already pumped out. If you get what I mean, I've got to keep to my, my, my thing, my word and all that. Barry, they, someone went down and told Barry, listen, they're up in the cell and they're bagging up right now. They went there. I know the his was. Let's not mention his name. Barry saying, yeah. So it's on association, the electronic doors in Long Island, right? Barry Williams has gone up there, right, while they're doing their stuff in there secretly and putting all the bags together of brown and that kind of stuff. Barry Williams has gone in, pushed open, knocked on the door, and the door's open, right? He turned off the light, banged both of them in the mouth, put them all on the floor, right, and swept up what all was on the table, what they were bagging up and come out with it, right? Come downstairs and said to me, Yami, yeah, I see, I told you I would find out. I said to him, I said, Barry, what, what, what's happened? And then I saw um, them, my man from West, my man from South London, they come after about half hour, 20 minutes or something, they come running out of the cell. So I was looking, he said to me, right? He said to me, and I said to him, and I said, I said, to, I said to him, he said, he said, he said, hold on, Yami. They come running out of the cell, right? Barry took liberties. He robbed all of them on a one-man mission, right? Uncle Yami, salute that. You know what I mean? For that life, if you forget what I mean. You went in there on your Todd and you scraped up the parcel. You knocked everyone out. We got to agree with that bit there, with the life that I led. You know that I know that I say you're a soldier no matter what, right? But the next day, what they did, I said, all right then, I can't take that violation there. 
from Barry Williams, right? Um, right, so they said, right, well, what are we gonna do? So what Barry went and done, he sat in the video room on his own, right? He come in there, you know, he's got the parcel, he's nice and all that kind of stuff, he's buzzing. He sat in the video room where you have to sit, in the cafes, right, where, where you're watching something on the street. He went and sat in the front row all by himself, right? So, right, so this is what happened. What happened was those that he robbed came running into the video room while he was uh, while he was like half asleep kind of thing if you get what I mean and they crept up behind him and give him a stab there right like like thing but the only thing was they done that and Barry Williams got back up and started fighting back and went in right and there was this nutter right a Peter Bryan lookalike right he was there but I know them lot used to give him give him the butts and give him those kind of things. That's how it is in the cat is with people that have got mental health and all that. You give him the roll-ups off the floor and all out your ashtray and they look after you. But a nutter who was in the video room that night started coming, started fighting with Barry. He was giving Barry a better fight than those two that robbed him and tried to creep up on him. I was laughing, I swear to God. Barry Williams and Barry Williams run upstairs, chase them upstairs, right? He still got out of it. I say certain times with BW, Barry Williams from Liverpool, I say without certain things like me, Uncle Yami says he could have represented on any given day. We've got to talk the truth out here today. You know what I mean? But Uncle Yami rates him very, very highly, even though he pissed me off when he ran upstairs because they were running, because he was fighting back after he got a little cut. Barry Williams, right? He ran up the stairs and they started running and it was like, it was so funny, like, you know, if I tell you they was, Gordon Bennett, you know what I mean? They're running like that, got to their doors because in Long Island you can lock yourself in, right? So they got in there, locked the door, Barry's locking the door and that kind of stuff, but he had blood coming out of there, but he still come out a victor out of it all, all right? So I'm sending loads of love to you. Uncle Yabby's on a funny one tonight. Loads of love.